is the Colonic Truth Show. Greetings. Welcome to the Colonic Truth Show, where you are taught how to live your life authentically and find optimal health through colon therapy so you can get connected with yourself, find your life purpose, and improve your quality of life. Find me online at colonictruths.com or joyazbanes.com. I am your host, Sage Joya. Greetings, everyone. Today's episode is entitled, Heal Thyself. I have two very important questions that I want you to contemplate. Question number one, how do you heal yourself from past pains to which you believe someone else has caused? Question number two, how do you forgive yourself and others for the hurt that you are feeling on the inside? These are very difficult questions and the answers usually aren't simple, but there are some additional questions that I could have you ask of yourself, which would help you to start your healing process. Recently, a friend of mine raised a question on Facebook. She works for the government and she became very emotional upon listening to some of her clients talk about the tragedies that were happening in their life at the present moment. And she wanted to know what she could do to maintain her professional composure while managing clients. Now, I thought this was a very interesting question, and I responded to her in a previous blog post entitled Emotional Cleansing. She then came back and she asked a few more questions about emotional expression and forgiveness. So today, I'm going to share with you her questions and give you some simple answers to which I think would be helpful toward helping you to heal yourself emotionally. Now, having an inability to express repressed emotions and traveling through life with unforgiveness in your heart is a very serious offense to your body. In the emotional cleansing blog post, I refer to these actions as having a little box within the depths of your subconscious existence waiting for the time clock to strike midnight so it can explode. This particular box has been utilized throughout the years in your lifetime. This box becomes very poisonous and is leaking fumes throughout the years that could cause problems like depression, anxiety, fear, stagnation, and other kinds of disease or diseases within the body. It is very important that once you acknowledge this box exists, that you take steps to begin cleansing it so that you can begin your healing process. So today, what I'm going to talk about is when this particular box is created within your life, what effects this box can have on the body, steps that you can take to begin cleansing this box, and how you can practice the art of forgiveness so that you can truly feel compassion in your heart for yourself and other people. So I want to point out that a lot of us have been taught to suppress emotions created through painful moments that have happened during during different intervals of our life. So let me give you an example. Let's say that when you were a child and you were in elementary school, your teacher assigned a homework assignment. You brought it in and when you returned it, the paper was wrinkled and the teacher proceeded to yell at you in front of the entire classroom. The yelling caused you to have emotional pain and you wanted to express that emotion, but you didn't want to risk further embarrassment in front of the classroom. Let's take another example as a teenager when you were in high school. You didn't have the ability to have the trendy clothing that most of the kids were wearing in school. On a daily basis, when you would come to school, the kids actually made fun of you because of the clothing that you were wearing. Making fun and teasing caused you to have some emotional pain and you wanted to express this emotion, but once again, you did not want to risk any further embarrassment. Let's take another time period as an adult. 
In your work environment, you had a competitive relationship with a colleague, and during a roundtable discussion, the colleague spoke some embarrassing comments about your work. This information caused you to experience emotional pain. You wanted to lash out, but you knew that in the work environment, this kind of behavior would be unacceptable. So what does one do with those unexpressed emotions? Typically, we have a tendency to stuff those painful emotions into our little box. We throw this box into the subconscious corners of our body, and then over the years, this box continues to fill with additional pains. But these pains remain dormant. We detach from the disturbing meanings associated with this pain in efforts to help us to move forward with our life. So these painful moments, not only are they unexpressed, but they remain unresolved. Ultimately, this box represents a time bomb waiting for the opportunity to communicate. Before you know it, one day, this box begins to open on its own. At this point, you become subject to unexplainable emotional behaviors and or diseases like, but not limited to, anger or bitterness. Have you ever noticed some people become very, very bitter over the years? If you ask this person why they're bitter, the person may blame it on a recent experience. But typically, if that person actually allows themselves to get honest and they dig deep within themselves, they can find the true reasons for their bitterness. Another behavior is substance abuse like a person using alcohol and drugs. Have you ever known someone whom drinks daily? They call it social drinking, but truthfully, the person is using the substance to numb the painful moments which have happened in an earlier time period within their life. So instead of dealing with the emotion, they try to use alcohol or drugs to numb the pain of the experience. One could also take a look at bodily pain like fibromyalgia or chemical sensitivities. These issues fall into the unknown category of ailments. However, what really has taken place is your pain box has infiltrated the nerve system as a means of expression. To me, major ailments like cancer, diabetes, lupus, hepatitis, renal failure, or other similar diseases are interesting because these candidates usually have a very big pain box that is begging for the opportunity of recognition and expression. Those emotions want to be acknowledged. They don't have a platform to express themselves, so they look for other means within the body to express. And lastly, I believe that tears are a simple expression of pain. Have you ever met someone whom has crying spells? Or have you asked someone their reason for crying, but they could not identify the answer? Typically, there are painful moments that have happened in this person's life. They may have disassociated themselves with the meaning of the pain, but the pain still lies dormant within their body. And when the opportunity knocks, this person may begin to cry. In all of these cases, the pain box is choosing a medium to express itself in efforts to help heal the mind, the body, and the spirit. It is your red flag that you must take steps to recognize the emotions within yourself so that you can heal. 